Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In Electric Quilt, you may have noticed that there is a grunge fabric collection under Manufacturing Basics. However, it is not a complete collection. This week, I became obsessed with getting a, co a complete collection to do my own designing in EQ8. And so I'm going to take you through that process. Start by going to My Moda Fabrics Dot com. Scroll down to the bottom where under free and fun they have downloads and click on that. Under keyword search go ahead and type in grunge. Notice that there are a lot of different collections. The page that we are interested in is the JPEG images or those with the blue scissors. So let's click on under grunge the blue scissors. This is going to create a zip file and I'm going to save that under downloads in my computer. Now this took over two minutes to download and I have high-speed internet so just recognize that it may take some time for the download to complete. Now I can locate that under downloads or it's in the lower left of my screen and I'm going to double click on it which will open the file to do the extraction and I'm going to go ahead and select extract all. So then it's going to ask me for a destination to extract the files. Now I can uh, put this in downloads. You definitely want to create a subfolder, but I'm going to go ahead and browse and go to my EQ8 images and I'm going to select a new folder and call this Moda Grunge. And I'm going to select that folder and I'm going to select extract. In looking at the collection, there first of all is a set with rulers. Given these are fairly monochromatic, I don't really need to worry about resizing. So I'm going to first of all just eliminate that and delete that. Then scroll to the bottom and with the shift key select the first and the last of the images that are not fabric images and select delete. Now the next thing that I noticed was is that they have some that have a black strip on the bottom. That black strip is actually going to be a problem in EQ so I'm going to separate those with the black strip and put those in a separate folder. And I'm going to select new folder and I will label it with black strip. Then with the control or the command key, select each of these swatches with the black strip and drag it to the with black strip folder. So now I'm ready to go to Electric Quilt. Select View Project Sketchbook and go to Fabrics. Click on the three dots up at the top and select Clear All Unused Fabrics and then select yes. And then I'll close. Then on the home screen I'll select search fabric swatches and select import from image files. Now I'm going to navigate to my EQ8 images Moda Grunge and I'm going to start with everything without the black strip so with my shift key I can select the first and last item select open. Now this took me three minutes to load so be patient with the process. Then select all fabrics and add to sketchbook and close. Next select libraries followed by photo library. Select import from image files and navigate to the images Moda Grunge and you're going to want to go with black strip. Select all of the fabrics with the extra strip and select open. Then select all photos and add to sketchbook and close. To make these fabrics usable I will need to edit each of them. So select the first one and select edit 
to Image Worktable. Select Crop and move the dotted line at the bottom up so that, it, that the dotted area no longer includes the black strip. Then select Apply Crop, followed by Add as Fabric. Then view the project sketchbook and select that same fabric and select Delete, and then select Yes. Repeat this process for all the remaining strips. Now if I go to Fabrics, I have 218 fabrics. Now I want to put those also in a library. Select Libraries followed by Fabric Library. Go to My Favorite Fabrics and select Create Library. And I'm going to label this Moda Grunge and select OK. Then I can find that under My Favorite Libraries. Select Style Number 1, right click and select Modify Style, and I'm going to call this Basics and select OK. Now select the current sketchbook and do a Select All Fabrics followed by Copy. Under My Favorite Fabrics, Basics, select Paste followed by Save Library. Now we have these all in a library as well, and we can close. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.